right, Andy Bea, making it through to the final of Men's Steeplechase at the USA's. Um, how'd it go out for you about that? It was good. We were trying to just run as relaxed as possible to get in. Um, and it felt pretty good. The last lap was a bit of a grind, but I kind of expected that at this point. Um, I PR'd, I think, by a second, maybe, two seconds. Uh, my first one, I fell, so um, step in the right direction. Uh, I came running off the last water jump a bit better, so I'm excited for the final. I think I'll come back, and um, I was pretty tentative in that race. Might put myself in there a little bit more to see what I can do. So, right, so this was second seat right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I still like. I had a handful of bad hurdles out there, but it's expected. And um, I think we'll come off of this pretty well, though, and should be pretty good, ready. How have we benefited the training with Evan? Because he made a sort of similar transition a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's really easy with both Evan and Dan. It's like they both are so good, top two Americans, and so I just basically follow them in practice try and stay with them. They're training at 8.05 to 8.10 pace. So it's a bit over my head, but it's good just to get practice of that. And then hopefully going to the world year next year, we're ready to pop a really fast one, uh, break 8.20 or whatever, which we would like to do this year too, but uh, we'll see what kind of races we get in. Hopefully the final, we'll see with the heat and everything, but Hopefully, could get under 8:30 at least, and then uh, try and place up there in the top five. Uh, I think we'd be happy with that. I mean, obviously, you always want to win, but your teammates, the American record holder, and your other teammates run 8:15 this year. So, if I lose to them, I'm happy for them and see what I can do. So.